Hey guys, what's up? Payday's been out for about a week officially, except for those of us that got access a little early. And uh, a lot of people have been asking me about my skill builds. I just went over the stealth one, which hopefully that video is up now for you guys to enjoy as well. But I wanted to show off what I do for loud. Again, I don't think there's too, too much wiggle right now. I mean, there's things that you can do in your builds that I'm not doing. Like you could go in full for demolition and stuff if you really wanted to, or the manipulator traits for dealing with trades at the beginning of heist. It's super useful to have somebody like this for doing medical stuff, or you could, I guess, even run the medic tree. Though to be honest with you, the craziest one I've seen there is their capstone where interacting with a medic bag heals you for more and restores it down. If you're trading hostages, that's nuts. You can give yourself like an infinite amount of downs if you're not very good at staying alive in loud right. Uh, but I don't think you should lean on that kind of stuff. And you know, it's a bit different. People can play with CQC. They can play with tactician. Uh, but the main meat, I think, of the loud perks right now in this game is ammo specialist. Gives you a little bit of extra ammo, but we're not using it for the ammo bags. Uh, scrounger. This gives me a 10% chance to get my throwables back. That means I can spam throwables the entire heist and played up so long as you have grit ammo chunks will instantly regenerate the current chunk of armor that you have that comes into something that we're doing in mower we have to take the beginning to get in every time you shoot 35 bullets you gain edge i'm not using that at all but i need to get into the mower tree uh, where i get suppressive fire as long as you have edge every shot from your weapon is a chance to inflict heavy stagger this isn't required uh this is one that i'm probably going to pull uh i may even pull played up uh, when the uh, next transporter tree comes out that we've heard about over the last couple of days uh, because I want to be able to carry multiple bags and all that fun stuff. Uh, ammo funnel. So long as you have edge, ammo pickups directly added to your weapons magazine. If your magazine is full, it's added to your reserves. So you don't lose any bullets for this. You just get to fire more without reloading, which is good for pretty much every weapon in the game. It's incredibly effective for like the Muscani, the two-shot shotgun because you never have to reload and it can one shot in the head just an entire army of people and you can fire it like a machine gun. It's pretty crazy. Uh, the marksman rifles and the sniper rifle are great too because so long as you're landing your headshots, you never have to reload. And the assault rifles, because of their ammo pickup, numbers can be kind of useful on them too to be able to hold down a bullet hose for more than two or three people. Uh, I just have it. I think it's great. Along with Replenish, as long as you have edge, you automatically pick up ammo dropped by enemies you've killed, so I don't have to go get the ammo. Every time I kill a guy, my gun is just reloading itself. That's absolutely phenomenal for every weapon. Um, I know in Payday 2, there was a lot of stuff we'd take for like, oh man, you really got to increase your damage in your build. It's not really true anymore because most guns one to two shot people if you shoot them in the head. This game is very much about headshots now, and if you can land them, you don't need any additional damage. If you can't, you're always going to be running into ammo problems. You're going to be getting overwhelmed by people. You need to, you really need to aim in the head. Uh, going down a little further, we've got the capstone for tank, or the beginning of tank to get us into tank. Generation speed of your armor trunks increased by 20%. Your armor bag is two additional charges. That's just good. Armor is super, super powerful right now. It's what pretty much everybody in my crew brings every time we go out. Uh, two additional charges here, two additional charges here goes from two to six charges currently. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think that's awesome. And each one of these, because of this, gives you an additional chunk, gives you two armor chunks back. I wear heavy armor that has four chunks, so I have to pick up two for this, but I can fully restore my armor three times off a bag, uh, which is awesome. I like Last Man Standing. If you would normally go down, you can instead consume grit to stay on your feet and be immune to damage for 10 seconds. This effect has been applied and can't gain grit until you heal using a medic bag or a first aid kit or until you're downed. I like grit losing grit because I was going to die kind of sucks, but having a 10 second damage and vulnerability last stand that allows you to walk around, you just have to touch a single medic like first aid kit. Those are usually scattered in bathrooms that my crew has completely forgotten about. If I was going to die and to become God and save the situation and possibly just run to a friend who's down because I'm damage immune for 10 seconds so I can res them under fire and we don't have to lose. That's that's fantastic. That's just great to have. And I have infinite grit from something else I'll show you later. I also have infinite uh, edge from something I'll show you later. We're getting there. Disengage. I love to have this once per heist you can free yourself from a cloaker or a zapper after which you can't be disabled by them for five seconds. It's only once per heist. It's not a whole hell of a lot but I don't normally get cloaked or tased in a horrible position more than once. And when it happens, it's great to just be like, oh, cloaker's kicking my ass and my team is 40 meters away in a completely different room. I think I'm just going to free myself. 
for a one-off that you can collect with no prerequisites, disengage is fantastic for a defensive. Uh, here's the bread and butter, though. Sharpshooter, basic, and aced. Stand still for 1.5 seconds while aiming down the sights uh, or scope and gain edge. So I can give myself edge over the course of 1.5 seconds whenever I want at any point in time. You duck around the corner for cover, you can give yourself edge. After performing a headshot while ADSing, you refresh any edge you already have. Cool. So I can maintain that edge for forever while also being able to just get it. Then I like to take cutting shot. As long as you have edge, your armor penetration is increased. This allows me to take like the bolt action sniper rifle, for instance, and instead of having to two shot the window of a shield and feel like absolute ass while you're recocking that thing back and taking another shot, I can just pen straight on through with my edge and kill him in one shot. This is a fantastic bird. Uh, Swift, sprint speed's increased by 10%. That's just nice to have in all contexts. You're moving bags, you're running for cover, you're doing whatever. Uh, extra munitions, two additional throwables. I like this for the same reason I like it in my stealth build. It just gives you more utility. I end up with like five grenades usually, and I can really just go ham. Plus with that perk earlier on that we took for Scrounger, I have a 10% chance to replenish whenever I have edge. I can give myself edge for free. I replenish by killing people because I automatically pick up ammo drops. So I just have throwables, which is great. Flashbangs are super awesome for when people are, you know, starting to crowd you. Frags are great when there's a whole bunch of guys clustered up. Uh, throwing knives are great even in loud. Five throwing knives and you're just moving forward and repicking them up. You can clear a room, nobody's business in seconds. Uh, smoke grenades are... Um... Yeah, so anyway, Enforcer. Whenever you kill two enemies within four seconds that are within five meters of you, you gain grit. So this gives me grit all the time because I'm always up close to people holding a doorway somewhere with a shotgun or a rifle or what have you. So I just get grit. So now I have infinite grit and infinite rush. And then over here, so long as I have both, or I'm sorry, grit and edge. So long as I have both grit and edge, I have increased reload speed, so I get faster reloads. And then combat reload, whenever you reload a weapon with a magazine still has ammo, any of your shotguns, uh, or manually whenever you want, and it's faster now, I get refresh on edge and grit. So I always have edge and grit, which means I don't have to worry about last man not having grit because I'm probably gonna have grit if I'm fighting for my life, as all I have to do is kill two people really quick. So I get to keep both of them. Shock and Awe is an awesome defensive. Killing an enemy within eight meters of you is a chance to stagger all non-specials within five meters of you. That's just great. A group of dudes rush the door, you kill the first one, the rest of them just fall onto the ground and you can mop them up easily without taking damage you didn't want to take. And all of this is run with an armor bag to go with my tank stuff. So I can keep myself with plenty of armor. I can disengage from super horrible enemies that I have to fight. I can keep everybody stunned around me all the time. I've got pretty good offensives and armor pen. I can keep my buffs up, which I think is the whole point of Payday 3 system. And, you know, feeling pretty good. This build has seen me through Overkill Loud on all maps. I haven't had any issues so far. I've got all of my guns leveled to the point that I can fully equip stuff on them. I've capped out the SAA-144 and the SCAR. They've got everything they'll ever need. I've got a capped out Muscani. All the secondaries are capped, and um, I've been having a good time. This build seen me through all my troubles. Things might change when the transporter tree comes out. I'm going to have to move a couple things around because I want some stuff from that tree, as I talked about when I was looking at some of these perks. Uh, this one's fantastic because I get that grit all the time, so I get the armor trunk back all the time, so I feel more defensive. I don't really need it, and as long as you have edge, you can inflict heavy stagger. I don't super need because I've got AoE stagger and close anyway. So there's a little bit of wiggle room here for when new stuff comes out. And the fact that we're getting something new already and we know is coming in this transporter tree that's supposed to have like double bag carry and shit, then I can tell you right now that that's going to be their, their metric going forward. We're going to get DLCs that are going to be full of, hey man, here's a new tree. This is a skill tree, but this is also our perk deck system from before. It's just all looped into one and I'm here for it, dude. I'm having a lot of fun. There's not a whole lot of variety right now, but Payday 2 had 10 extra years to get that variety. So I'm going to come back to this in probably a year and have a wildly different build for you guys. Or so I hope. And if I don't from the devs, man, the community is already talking in that mod scene about all the cool shit they want to make. And I am very, very excited to see what they come up with. I think this game is going to get nuts. Anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying. Happy heisting. I'm going to get out of here. We'll pop some helmets. Later. Later.